Hey everybody. I'm just going to play this little slideshow while I'm talking about Stan's technology and everything that we've seen on YouTube, on the forums, that never works. <laughs> Why? How come nothing ever works, it seems like. So, I see those comments all the time. Just the other day, somebody commented on a video I had saying, Yeah, that's great. Another video of nothing that works. Well, my only question to those people, let's say you have this working. Okay, I really don't, honestly, I don't have it working. I wish I did, it'd be nice. Um, but let's say you did. Would you post a video showing it working for the whole world to see with your name on it? You know, people could look you up and find out who you are pretty quick. Knock on your door. You don't think you'd have a beaten path to your doorway? Anyone that does, that does that, that's exactly what would happen. They'd have a beaten path to their doorway. People they didn't know, people they didn't know they could trust or not. And it wouldn't just be the men in black or the government or whatever you want to, you want to believe it would be. It would be people that you knew, that you trusted. Stan... In 1996, the end of 1996, actually wrote a paper on just a few of the attempts that people made to take everything from him. Interesting thing was, these were all people that he personally knew and worked with. Probably the most intriguing story in there is one about a guy who was his machinist for several years, and this guy at one point... You know, Stan, he trusted this guy. He gave him dimensions, specifications, everything, so this guy could machine these components and secret parts that Stan had. And at one point, this guy held a gun to Stan's head and told him he was going to kill him if he didn't give him everything. Of course, Stan refused... And so what did the guy do? The guy took a bunch of his property at gunpoint. Later on, they went to court. The guy claimed that he took it because Stan owed him money, because of a breach of contract or some kind of crap. But, you know, that was a guy that he trusted. So imagine people that he didn't know. You know, other people that may have threatened his life or... See, that's the thing. You just, you don't know what's going to happen. But if, if this technology is really what Stan claimed it was, and the possibilities of it, and the implications of it are as, as big as he claimed, then no one in their right mind would just post it online uh, for everyone to see with their name attached to it. But at the same point, it's funny because everybody posts all this stuff uh, trying to claim that they're the sole, the only one that knows how it works. Or uh, Really, when it comes down to it, I think if you're intelligent enough to get this to work, and hopefully you're intelligent enough to understand what would happen if you showed the whole world. But think about that. I, I really don't think we're ever going to see a working device posted online. Maybe you'll see a still picture or something but that's about all you're going to see even Stan he never even showed his big uh, big producing units everything he showed was kind of the basic stuff so even when Stan did show his devices he never showed him doing this you see the water there I mean it looks like it's boiling and that's what people said in descriptions that they gave but he never showed a video of it doing that. This is a still photo. So I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen that. That's pretty cool if you haven't seen it before. Anyways, uh, that's all I gotta say really. You know, I would say if you wanna see this technology to work, if you wanna see it working, sorry, start working it. It's a fun hobby, it's a, a huge challenge. And it forces you to learn a lot of things that you might not otherwise learn and things that may help you later on down the road in your life. So, 
That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Take care.